I haven't filmed in so long that I can't even remember that when I press record the aspect ratio changes so I've been sitting here confused for like the last minute or so. Hi guys and welcome back. That's ugh, cringe. So I haven't really had a lot of inspiration because we've not been allowed to go anywhere. But one thing I have been doing in quarantine, lockdown, isolation, whatever you want to refer to it as, is I've been jumping on the puff sleeve trend hugely. I think my inner eight-year-old is having a moment, like she is thriving and I'm anticipating when this trend will end. I will be in mourning, but I'm kind of hoarding as many puff sleeve items as I can. So then when the day finally does come that the trend ends, I will have options. So I'm basically just gonna show you what I've been purchasing, wearing when I can, I guess. Like, we're not really going anywhere. So the first one and most recent purchase, this actually came in the mail this morning, would be this top by a brand called, sorry, I'm wearing exercise shorts because I'm not going anywhere. So it's like puff sleeve at the top, bike shorts down the bottom. But this came this morning. This is a wrap top. So it wraps around and it comes all the way up. It's quite stretchy. I think it's a cotton elastin. Was discounted quite a lot. And I was just like, whatever, I'll buy it. If I don't like it, I'll send it back. But serendipitously, it's quite nice. Um, number two, should I try all these on? Maybe I'll insert clips later with me trying them on. We'll see. I'll either insert photos or, or I'll just try them on later. As you can see, I've been collecting for a little bit. So this, I actually have this one on an Instagram photo. It's a top by Garni. I think it's maybe one or two seasons old. It's a wrap top. A lot of these are wrap tops. But there's a bit of a puff and I kind of push this part of the sleeve quite far up my arm to kind of give the sleeve a little bit more volume. This is really cute. I'll insert a photo because I don't know if, I can, if I'm going to be bothered trying these on because I'm lazy. I don't know why because it's not like I have anything else to do. And it has like a little frill on the collar. It's really cute. The second one is this. It's a crop. And you can wear this down on your shoulders like that or you can wear it quite high up, almost as high up as this. Um, it's quite short. So you kind of have to pull this bottom part down a lot. I actually wore this with a black sports bra underneath just because the whole world doesn't need to see my under boobs. Let's be real. But this is super cute. The sleeves are really, really nice. I really, really like the sleeves. Again, I push this part up my arm a little bit. Um, there's actually an, an Instagram photo. I nearly said MySpace photo. This is just from Zara. I think it's still available. I'll have a look, and if it is, I'll insert a link. The next one, again, is a Zara piece. And it's kind of like a polyester taffeta. This is probably a little bit big for me. It only came, like the smaller size that came in was a small, I couldn't get an extra small. Um, just because I have quite small shoulders. But I think I can make it work if I kind of pin this wrap part across a little bit more. But I just really, really like the color. I really like the sleeves. I haven't worn this out yet, so we're saving that for when we're allowed. Actually, we are allowed out now. Although, like, I don't feel like I want to go anywhere, like, super populated yet. I still feel a little bit unsafe. This is definitely in an Instagram post. This is just from Sports Girl. I found this randomly. I was just, I never go on the Sports Girl website. I haven't worn something from Sports Girl in years. And I just decided to, on a whim, look at their web store and found this. And it's super, super, super cute. 
it's cotton and it wraps around it kind of undoes a little bit which is a little bit annoying especially when you get that bow really really perfect and then you have to undo it and redo it like tighten it off and redo it that's super fun but the sleeves really puffy I enjoy this top immensely oh this one so this I've actually had this top for quite a while and I've only really worn it once I don't know why. It's an age top from... When did I get this? I got this? This I didn't get this last year. When did I get this? I think I got this at the end of 2018. But... Why have I never... Why have I only worn this top? I don't know why I've only worn this top once. Because it's... Pretty. There's a double collar. It has two layers. It's kind of got those Gigo sleeves. Like those 1830s type Gigo sleeves. I think they still have this online. I'm pretty sure I saw this the other day. It's very pretty. They have a few things like this on available through Asia at the moment. I'm going to show you another one. This next piece, again, is from Zara. It still has a tag on it. It's very sheer. It has very poofy sleeves. I mean, I could wear this with just a black bra or some kind of little camisole type thing. I'm not adverse to wearing sheer things with a black bra underneath it. I just liked it. It was, I don't think this was on sale. I just think it was relatively inexpensive and I was like, let's just see how she goes. If she's awful, we'll send her back. But I actually kind of like it. Now this. I haven't worn this for a while. I actually got this for Christmas. This is a sir piece. It comes in a set. I have the shorts as well. And there's a little bit of a puff sleeve there. It's just a cute little broderie, anglais. Broderie? Broderie? I don't know. But it falls under the puff sleeve category, so I thought I would include it. So let's regress back to the age Gigo sleeves. Oh my god, this light keeps changing. It's awful. I'm so sorry. But this, this is an Instagram post. And these sleeves are insane. They are huge. I actually wanted this in a size smaller, but they didn't have it. They had sold out, so I had to get... I got a size 8 instead of a 6. It's fine. I'm terrified of having this dry clean because I don't want them to ruin it. But this is such a glorious top. It came in a dress as well, but I, I kind of preferred the blouse. Um... I'm not sure what I would wear this with yet, if I'm honest. Thumbnail. Thumbnails are hard. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I have no idea what I would pair this with yet. That's still a work in progress. Look at this grouse coin that I found. I'm doing a video. Let me see. Where did you find this? Prince of Wales and Lady Diana Spencer. Oh, wow. We're fanatical about the royal family in this house. No one actually knows why. Anyway, coins. Let's move on to the next piece. I was worried that this was gonna look like a bin bag and I'm still kind of a little bit unsure. This is a denim dress by Cameo Collective. It comes in this oatmeal beige cream color, but it also comes in like a blue denim, but I preferred the beigey oatmeal color there's your puff sleeves it goes in at the waist and it has pockets which is just the best i'm gonna know i'm a little bit unsure about this it looks i when i tried it on when i first got it i remember i was like this is okay i was anticipating for the worst but i think it's gonna be okay we'll see we'll see how we go with this when we actually get around to wearing it. Last and I was very pleasantly surprised by this like I was 
almost 90% sure that this was going to be way too big. And I don't feel like the photos do it justice. Like it, it looks nice in, in on like, on, it looks nice on the model. It's a Zara piece, by the way. I didn't think I've mentioned that yet. But like I tried it on and I was just like, this is nice. I was very, 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 very pleasantly surprised. So this, with these crazy ass, kind of almost gigo size sleeves again. Dress is, it kind of looks like a bin bag, me just holding it up. I'm doing none of these pieces any justice whatsoever. I apologize profusely, but this just looks so good. Even the neckline, like it just can't, it just, it's just so flattering. And I was just like, I'll just wear this forever. This is just, bury me in this. This is the dress that I'm wearing forever. Admittedly, I haven't worn it yet, but like, you know, whatever, isolation. Semantics. It has a zip down the back, which typically I'm not particularly fond of, but it actually looks fine. Doesn't bother me. It's very difficult to do up. So I needed assistance from Henry. Thank you, Henry. I want to wear this with like, a really pointy kind of just an ankle boot that kind of comes up a little bit higher that's quite point that's quite pointy i don't actually own a pair like that so we should find a pair actually you know there's i think there's like a saint laurent pair that i have in mind that i can't afford so anyway that is my current stash haul collection of puff sleeve clothing, tops, dresses, paraphernalia. My camera just stopped recording. So rude. I should probably end this because I think, I don't know if my battery's running out or if my US, uh, my SD card is running out of room because I need to clear it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will, depending on how many more pieces I can find, I may do a part two of this, but I'm, I've pretty much exhausted all my options for the moment. So we'll watch this space. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I will put most of these up. I'll try and take some photos. So yeah, do that at Cassandra Rundell. The link is down below and I'll put it on the screen. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>